Okay. Before I go destroying my board, my Vic 1001 board, um, try and improve the composite video output in this video, I thought I'd try uh, Chris Aldridge's VJ output board. Um, Tata Bassa Hub. <laughs> I don't know, Vic 20 uh, expansion board. So uh, he released this one last year. So all the clever magic on the back, plus, well, I'm sure this does a lot of it. Um, but basically VGA out promises. So um, the only mod you have to do is add a um, A14, A15 address uh, signals to the board. So I'll slide that on there. This is my first time trying this. So that's plugged in there. Okay. VGA is here. My arm in the way. So there we go. Let's see how we go. Need to fix that up. Uh, power is ready to go. It's on. Oh, yep, oh, screen went on, so it's detected VGA. Hey, wow, that is bloody clear. So, how was that? 800 by 600? That is awesome. <laughs> is the best output I've seen on a VIC-20. And I think the VIC works at the same time. So I've got, I've also got the composite plugged in. So let's see if I can switch to composite. Uh, source, come on, not source, AV, Blah. and that's the composite output for comparison. So let's go back to VGA, I think. Now, Chris said that it should work with a cartridge expander. Go down, go down. So, come on. I'm going to try it with the cartridge expander to see if I can load a cartridge. Oh, come on. All right, I'm just trying to get back to VGA. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Much nicer. So, well, I'm quite impressed by that. <laughs> All right, let's try it with the cartridge expander. Okay, I've got a... Just a simple two-way expander there with Chris's VGA on the front and uh, Jason's uh, Archivist, latest adventure game. And that is, <laughs> wow, that is just so crisp. That is nice. <laughs> um, I've just noticed an issue is the, uh, oh, oh, no. A is working intermittently at the moment. I might need to pull this apart and, and try check it out again. But how is good? How good is that? I'm uh, I'm really impressed. So I think um, I need a right angle VGA. I think right angle VGA. Anyway, let's try it with something else. Hey, okay, and here is uh, Vic Nippler. I'm just I'm just astounded by how good that looks. Wow. Looks really good. So yes, I will definitely be using this board a lot more. Um just need to figure out the best way to to do the cable. Um and yeah, I don't know if this is the best expansion card to be using. I've, I've got a few. But um yeah, no, I'm really, I'm really impressed by that. And then you can switch back to um, 
normal composite. Come on. Oh, okay, it looks, doesn't look too bad in composite actually. That's composite. Where'd he go? There he is. Much, much better in VGA. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really happy with that. There we go. All right, let's have a quick look at the mod I had to do, uh, just for the additional A14, A15 address lines. Um, basically, I just tacked on the bottom there. I'll just run it through. It comes out there. Um, I, I don't know if that'll be the final thing. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm really impressed by that. That's uh, yeah. Okay, so that's one way of improving your Vix out uh, video output. Um, it's definitely one way of doing it. And plug it in there like that, and then plug it into the expansion. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was it. That was just a quick one on, on Chris's uh, VGA board. I finally got around to trying it out um, before I dismember my my VIX composite output, trying to improve it. Uh, that's it for now.